Welcome to this demonstration of e-governance solutions based on experience from Estonia, a country widely recognized as one of the world's leading digital societies. This presentation is prepared for you by the members of Estonian ICT cluster in partnership with the Estonian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In this presentation, we will be looking at activities involving crossing the border, enabling the smooth and efficient movement of people, goods and transportation across the national border. To get started, the citizen will use their unique digital ID number to log into the citizen portal, a central gateway to all public sector services. He or she enters their personal ID number and password, and once they press login using Smart ID, a verification code is sent to their mobile phone, and once they verify their identity with the PIN number, they are logged in. The same login procedure is used to access any public sector service in Estonia. As we can see now, Michael Collins is logged in and various information is already presented to him from different registries, such as the population registry and the marriage registry regarding his family. Looking at the business side, we can see that he is a shareholder in two companies, Happy Trees Limited and Global Timber Limited. As we are interested in border crossing activities, let's go straight to the border crossing. We're all familiar with how long and cumbersome a border crossing can be if we just drive to the border and stand in the queue. The similar process would not be imaginable for someone going to the airport to just board the flight without any advanced information available to border patrol or customs officials. Michael needs to go across the border with one of the Happy Trees trucks. And rather than waiting in a queue at the border, he can register the border crossing in advance. To get the process started, he enters the border management system. Once in the border management system, Michael has to choose the border crossing point. After selecting the first option, a selection of queue options is presented. Priority queue is for perishable or dangerous goods. Live queue is for crossing the border without the preset time. And pre-reserve queue is where Michael can reserve a specific time for crossing the border. Once Michael has selected the pre-reserve queue, he enters his personal information as he will be driving the truck himself and the data about the truck. He enters his name, ID number, travel document number, vehicle registration number, and selects truck with goods as vehicle category. Once he confirms the data, he will need to pay for the reservation. So he selects visa as payment type and completes a transaction. This is all Michael needs to do from his side to make the reservation. All information is automatically sent to the Border Patrol and Customs officials. Let's now take a look at what the border crossing will look like from the perspective of the border official. Once we refresh the data, we can see a new reservation in the name of Michael Collins for crossing the border with a truck containing goods. When looking at the different reservations, we see notifications next to some of the items in the reservations. The clipboard sign next to the vehicle information means that this vehicle has been automatically selected by the system for a thorough customs check. There are also different notifications next to the information about the people. A green notification means that the personal information has been verified with the population registry. A red one that this particular person has a criminal history. We can see how having this information in advance enables the border and customs officials to prepare and plan the flow of controls needed for the vehicles and drivers going across the border. As you recall, when Michael was making his reservation, he had to pay a fee. Let's take a look now where this payment went. To do this, we look at the state budget management system. The budget management system consolidates the public funds management across the entire public sector. Once we refresh the data for the received payments, we can see that a new payment has been made to the Ministry of Finance for the Border and Customs Declaration. This exemplifies the value of the various systems being connected in an efficient and secure manner. An interoperability framework is needed to facilitate such a seamless flow of information. In Estonia, a system called XROAD is used. To see a visualization of the data flowing between the systems, we can look at the unified exchange platform, which is available to all countries in the world. Once we refresh the data, we can see the updated transaction count. On the left, we see the different services that are exchanging data such as companies, persons, students, prescriptions, and others. And on the right, different client systems, such as the citizen portal, company registry, and so on. And here we can see the queue management service as well. Below is the graphical representation of the data flowing. 
In the upper display, we see the information by client service and the lower display showing us the client systems, followed by statistical information about the information being exchanged. As we can see from the demonstration, by implementing a border management system, customs and immigration officials are able to know in advance who is coming, when, with what kinds of goods, to which destination, and other kinds of crucial information to keep the border crossing legal, safe, efficient, and under control. They can also undertake a reorganization of the border post by imposing border crossing schedules on everyone, drivers, public agents, forwarding agents, etc. This presentation has been brought to you by the ICT cluster in cooperation with the Estonian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The border crossing solution was developed by GoSwift.